Hello YouTube, welcome back to Bald Man Builds Airplane in Basement. This is video number 16 of the elevator build. We have surpassed the video numbers, rather the video count of the horizontal stabilizer. And we're into the elevator. So here we are getting cute with the camera angle uh, to show exactly what a pain in the butt it is to get a pop rivet into the stiffeners that uh, join up against the rear spire of this elevator. So there's one compression, there's two, nope, there's two compressions, and here comes the pop. Bang! Ugh, pop rivets. How many times do I have to say I don't like them? Whatever. They're used throughout the build. I just have to get used to using them. I much prefer solid rivets, but there's no way I'm getting a gun in here. So, we use pop rivets instead. We just hope we don't scuff the crap out of the skin while we do it. The, the fit is really tight through here, and the fact that they have you put four in each of them is uh, kind of painful. But, you know, they've got to be structurally sound. Um, it's a pretty critical flight control surface, so let's make sure it's done right. And then I realize, wait a minute, why am I laying this on its side if I could just stand it upright and make my reach a whole lot easier? Light bulb. Let's just do that. <laughs> yeah, I wish I'd have done the other one that way too. Yeah, well, it's okay. So here we are. Um, we've moved on. All the stiffeners are riveted together. And now the uh, skeleton, I guess you'd want to call it, is being initially fit. Where all those Coleco clamps are, um, we're going to be riveting later on. This is just for alignment purposes right now. And then we get into uh, doing this into the garage because we had a nice day and there's been, since this has been recorded, quite a few nice days. So I'm out in the garage a bit more. Um, right. Oh, right. So here... What I'm doing is I have a few extra pieces of angle aluminum and I'm matching them up with the original piece, which fits the trailing edge really nicely. Um, in the next video, I'll be using... Um, no, 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 no. In the next video, we'll be attaching the skins to the skeleton, a.k.a. the front spar and uh, root rib and tip rib. And then after that, we'll be using tank sealant to put in the uh, trailing edge foam ribs. Um, but for right now, we need to get these skins attached to... I'm sorry, we need to get the skeleton attached to the stiffeners and the uh, skeleton also attached to the skin. So that's what will be happening here uh, for at least a little while. This is the right elevator um not sure if i work how far i work on this but i'm pretty sure i just get the the root rib done before the next video uh plus side i have a new guest on the next video to help me work through this my neighbor nick came over he was interested in this and um he helped me with the left elevator so we'll have that next time but uh, for right now, we're just going to squeeze this uh, root rib together with the skins.